Welcome to episode two, where we will be looking at the three phases of metacognition. In the last episode on metacognition, Jen learned that metacognition was not about what she learned, but about how she learned it. Jen had also learned that metacognition meant thinking about thinking. It was about reflecting on your experiences. It was about knowing what skills and strategies to use when and where. Adam told Jen that there were three phases to metacognition and Jen was keen to know more. As Jen started to conduct her research, she learned that Adam was right, that there were three phases to metacognition. The planning phase, the monitoring phase, and the evaluation phase. As part of the planning phase, Jen learned that she would have to do a task analysis. Firstly, she would look at the process she would have to go through in order to complete the task. She would analyze what skills and strategies she would use, break the task down into subsections, and create a timeline for completion. Jen discovered that during the planning phase, she would have to highlight which cognitive skills she was going to use. Jen noticed that she was better at using some cognitive skills than others. She thought to herself in the short term, she would use the cognitive skills that she was good at and in the long term, develop the rest. In order to complete the planning phase, Jen learned she needed to choose an appropriate learning strategy. Through her research, Jen had learned that there were a huge variety of learning strategies to choose from and that she needed to be discerning. She needed to pick the strategy that suited the task, not her. Once the task had started, Jen was in the monitoring phase. She needed to cross-reference her progress against her plan. She needed to ask herself, was she making the right level of progress? Was the work completed to the right standard? And did she need to adjust the learning strategies and skills being used? Jen had learned that it was essential to systematically review the progress she was making throughout the task. This was in order to ensure that she was meeting her learning goals throughout. This way she could make any immediate adjustments to the skills and strategies being used should it be required. The final phase that Jen learned about was the evaluation phase. She would examine whether she completed the task successfully or not. She would analyse which strategies worked well and which didn't, asking why. She would examine what she would do differently next time in order to ensure she didn't make the same mistake twice. Thank you for watching this episode where Jen has learned about the phases of metacognition. Join us for episode three where we will learn about metacognitive knowledge and metacognitive regulation. If you have enjoyed this episode, please click the like button, subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell.